welcome to tech diet let's dive into our today's problem point that intersect with cars it says you are given a zero index 2d integer array nums representing the coordinate of cars parking on a number line for any index i nums i is equal to start i and i where start i is the starting point of i th car and the end i is the ending point of the i th car we need to return the number of integer points on the line that are covered by any part of the car so what that means is like if for example we have this test case with us there is a car that is parked between indices 3 to 6 and there is a car that is parked between indices 1 to 5 there is again a car that is parked between 4 to 7 so we need to return the total number of integers that have some part of the car do a car is parked at point 1 or does it include a part of car that is present that includes that data point so at 1 we do have a car parked 2 we also have because of this particular interval and then 3, 4, 5 are still covered here. Then we'll have at 6th we do have a car. At 7 we do have a car. So total number of data points that have some part of car are 7 here. So let's see an example 2. So here we have a car for 1, second, third. We don't have a car at 4. Then we have a car at 5, 6, 7, 8. A car means some part of car or car itself. So here again we have although there are 8 data points but 4 doesn't have a part of car it's excluded so that is an empty spot there so the total number of points that have some part of car is still 7 so that's what we're gonna do we'll check if it's uh, a car is available on that particular index if it's available then we can uh, add it to our count otherwise uh, we'll skip that so here I see the start and end is between 1 to 100 so let's have a points is equal to new in till 101 to include the 100th index and then we'll have we'll iterate it over our list we'll have this list of integer and we'll fetch the corresponding start from this list which will be the first index we'll fetch the corresponding end of this index uh, which will be like list dot get the last index so this is my ending point then i can say my iteration will start from the start my iteration till it's not end iteration plus plus so we'll say my points i will be incremented and at last i can iterate over the points and i can just check here like if this is non-zero value that means there was a car uh, there is a car that is available here i can increment my count and then we can just return it so let's return this count and here it should be like int count is equal to zero let's declare it run it so it says our sample test case got accepted for first case we have seven for second test case we also have seven let's try to hit submit okay it's accepted so yep that was about it we'll check each data point we'll mark it whether a car is available there or not if it a car is not available if it's available we'll increment our count otherwise we'll skip that so this could be another way as well we could have sorted around from the first index and then we can merge the overlapping intervals and then count the length of that intervals so the non-overlapping intervals that will also give you the same if you need that solution just write down me in my comments i'll share that video with you as well thank you